everybody. Welcome back to Let's Go Geo. It's time for another Featured Friday, and today, this is what I have for you. So, this is our specimen that we're going to be taking a guess at. If you're new to Let's Go Geo, on Fridays, we do kind of a little show and tell, and you try to guess what I have here. So, all I'm looking for today is for you to identify uh, what this is called. So, we have, obviously, a chunk of rock here, and if you found this chunk of rock... What would you classify it as? So pretty straightforward. Sometimes we talk about some other aspects, but today, what is this called? So I'll kind of show you it. Uh, once you figure out a good guess, just drop it in the comments and you can see there what other people have guessed. Um, let's take a little look at this guy. <clears throat> so here's some different angles and perspectives. And uh, there's the backside or I guess it doesn't really have a back and a front, but this is the other side that we were looking at here. You can see these big gouge marks there. You can see these uh, rocks. And what you obviously are probably going to think at first glance is, okay, something interesting going on here because there, uh, there seems to be these circular features, which are rocks. There are rocks inside of rocks. I have talked about this briefly here at the channel, so if you've been... Coming along for the ride, you might have already seen something about this. But <clears throat> yeah, these are rocks and rocks. So you have this, you have this background mass here you, that you can see. Pretty consistent background. And then the rocks are floating inside of that background. And they're obviously different than, <clears throat> than the background that you see. Now what's this is this is just a random piece that I collected here, but I I just pretty much chunked or grabbed this chunk, but I also went around and I grabbed some other pieces that are clearly associated with this same rock. So this shows you the type of stuff that's included in this. Like look how big these are. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see that's like that's what's included in this rock. If we were actually able to pull these out, which they do a row down of this, then that is what you're seeing when you're seeing here. This is just a nice clean surface, right? But this is basically what it is. It's this these cobble size uh, rocks. Some of them quite large because, as you see, uh, this is even bigger. You can see that's cut. So that's an even bigger chunk than the last one. Got that big. That's our first size. Next size up. And now check this out. We have an even larger one. Look how big that is. So some of these rocks included in this are quite large. But there's certain features you should be identifying <clears throat> that'll help you identify the name of this type of rock. So as I'm showing you, hopefully the hints are all there. But something interesting about this is the age. I just know from the geology of this region that this piece is this rock I, well as a hint i guess it is a it is a naturally made rock i don't know if some people have thought is this man made because it looks kind of interesting um and no it is a naturally made rock so if that changes your guess or if you need to update it go ahead and do that now <clears throat> but yeah this is naturally occurring now i did not blast this out or chunk this out of the in-situ formation um it's a massive amount of material is washing down here in the washes. So I was able to just find this this nice chunk. I mean, it's really nice. It's like such a smooth, nice coating there to look at. So it's a pretty awesome specimen. And then, yeah, I was able to just find these eroding out as well. But I can tell you, based on the knowledge of this area, this material is in the ballpark of a billion years old. Now, I don't know the exact date without dating it or knowing exactly where this came from. Because like I said... It's eroding out, but just on the background of this area, this type of material can be close to uh, many hundreds of millions of years old or even a billion years old. So that's a pretty cool fun fact. Um, lots of cool stuff to learn about this. Now, how do we identify a rock like this? Well, the big thing that you should have been looking at are this, are these rock, these inclusions, these rock inclusions. Uh, and I showed you these as well. So the biggest thing to look at are the fact that these are very rounded. Pebbles, cobbles, uh, these huge size uh, rocks that are included are very rounded off. And even this one, it's broken. This was quite a large one, but it's broken. So you can see there how big that would have been. 
even this one is round, quite rounded. So these were rounded off a bit before they were included in this, which is a conglomerate. So we would call this simply a conglomerate. So if you guessed conglomerate, congrats, you got it right. If you were wondering about some of the other terms, there is a term you'll come across, which is a breccia. And in that case, the fragments would be less circular like this, less rounded off like this. And those usually involve more angular grains. So that's the main difference between those two types of sedimentary rocks, conglomerates and breccias. Uh, but like I said, this one, very, very cool story behind this rock. I will be covering it here soon. I'm not sure when, but I plan on doing a full episode on this and the related rocks in this region. There's sedimentary, metasedimentary, some uh, intrusive igneous rocks, and there's a lot of interesting geology going on here because of this. Some um, crazy earth history related to these rocks. So stay tuned for that adventure. I will eventually get to it, and that will be an actual field adventure here at Let's Go Geo. If you are new to Let's Go Geo, that's mainly what this channel is about. I want to take you guys on virtual geo adventures. So you follow me around in the field and I can actually show you these things. But on Fridays, we just do a quick deal like this today where you get to sort of try to guess at the sample. So there you go. Today's featured Friday is a very, very awesome massive conglomerate. I'll see you guys on the next adventure here at Let's Go Geo.